Big Fizz Australia sells straight to small companies here in SA. We also distribute to your DCs, Woolworths, Coles, Metcash, and then we also go to 34 different countries around the world. We have five AGVs here. They're the same five that we started over five years ago. An AGV will start up at 3 a.m. in the morning and do our replenishment requests. They'll then consolidate all our rows. They'll bring all the stock over from production over to this 20,000 square metres warehouse. At 12 o'clock, they'll then pick all our orders that need to be dispatched the following day and they can then pick them while we're not here in the afternoon and night. The reason we got AGVs was to reduce our costs on the whole supply chain. The return on investment for these AGVs was 2.5 years. We had very little issues moving from forklift to AGV. A forklift driver has a lunch break, calls in sick, makes mistakes. The great thing about the AGVs is that they communicate with each other. When an AGV puts a pallet in a row, it updates and communicates to the others that there is one extra. If an AGV is closer to a task than another one, they'll swap. I can even remotely program them from home. Since we've had AGVs, we don't do a stock take. We actually have a rolling stock take using our WMS system. We'll gum along and count each row every week. AGVs here use X, Y and Z coordinates to get their position using reflectors all around the warehouse and they're as accurate as 10 mil. They are very reliable but we do do a lot of preventive maintenance every year to make sure that they fulfil every day. Damage by forklift was costing us $30,000 a year. Now we are around roughly between $1,000 to $4,000. Injury has come down in the last five years due to AGVs coming into the workplace. I can send orders to them and they'll just go along and do those tasks without any fuss. I can do other work, come back and all the tasks are complete. I don't have to worry, I know that they'll get done. I wouldn't know what to do without AGVs.